using the replace feature in Elvanto. So I have an email to tell me I've been scheduled on something, so let's have a look. I can't make that date. So I have two options, to decline or accept. So I'm going to hit decline. And then I have an option to ask someone to replace me or to completely decline. You can also get to this spot by logging in to Elvanto. Go to barneysbroadway.elvanto.com.au Then head to roster and run sheets. If you hit respond to requests, it won't work. You need to go to roster and run sheets. Find the Sunday that you can't do. So there it is. And then I click on the red X. And here come those two options again, replace and decline. So I'm going to click on replace. And there's a list of people who can replace me. You can choose one or you can choose to send it to all of them. I'm just going to send it to test. So I click send request. So now test receives an email. And, um, you'll res and you can see that the X has been changed to those blue arrows down the bottom. So let's go to text tests email. There it is. Roster replacement request. Um, so here we go. So test has two options to accept or decline. Um, if the request is accepted, it automatically gets changed over in Elvanto. If it's declined, then you and your team leader will um, receive a notification. If no one accepts within three days of the service, you'll both receive a notification as well, you and your team leader, um, and you'll need to do something about that. You can also use the app. Um, so you need to log in on the app on your phone using the same login as you would online. And then here we go, there's that red cross again. So hit the cross, go replace, and I'm going to send to all of the people this time to see if I get a response. So that's it. I have hope that's been helpful. Um, if you have any questions, do let me or your team leader know. Um, thanks. Bye.